Michelle Kidani, Hawaii State Senator from Senate District 18 in Central Oahu. During the past six years in the Senate, I have been very privileged to work closely with and to be mentored by my friend, my colleague, David E.J. The past four years I've worked very closely with him, serving as his vice chair of the Senate Committee on Ways and Means. About a year ago, when David announced to his colleagues that he intended to run for governor, I can tell you that more than a few of them scratched their heads and asked why. Why would David give up a sure re-election to his Senate seat and take on the tremendous, tremendous task of trying to unseat a governor, an incumbent governor, who had millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars? But I thought about it. And for those of you who know David, you know that the reason he did this is because David followed his heart. He did what he usually does. He looked at the pros and cons. He contemplated. And he decided that he had no, no choice but to come forward because he believed that he could be the leader that our beloved Hawaii needed. And David went all in. You saw the numbers, the first printout. In the few months that he had to do a campaign, and the few dollars that he had to do a campaign, he went throughout the state, island to island, community by community. And this is what he heard. They wanted a change of leadership. So more and more he met with people, the decision he made made more and more sense. The senators, his colleagues, know David to be a good leader. They know David to be a leader who listens. They know David to be a trusted leader and one who looks at all the options and the consequences of his decisions. He is confident, he is forthright, and he is steadfast once he makes those decisions. I know David Ige as someone who, in his own words, says he would rather do good than look good. David is committed to doing the right thing and doing it in the right way. David is a person that we can all respect as a right leader for our Hawaii. I know David as a kekioka aina, someone who values hard work and sacrifices. I know David as a son, a brother, a husband, and a father. He would do whatever is within his power to assure that every opportunity that could be had was given to his family for them to pursue their dreams and their aspirations. So should it be for all the people of Hawaii. A few supporters stood with David when we started this journey about a year ago. You who are here tonight that stood with us back then, tonight we are on our way to victory because of you. <laughs> These supporters saw in David Ige what we saw in David Ige, and they brought in other supporters. Mahalo to all of you because you are the whirlwind that created this, this victory that we are on our road tonight that we are on our way tonight. But, remember, 
in victory you will still need support and I know that you guys have lots and lots of aloha for David. So we will take some time off and regroup after tonight, but we need to be strong. We have, this is the beginning of a very long journey. Local comedian Andy Bumatai, not too long ago, on his TV show in the car, had David Ige in the car with him. And he asked David this, is it possible to be completely real and still get elected? The voters tonight have answered that question. They have cast their vote for someone who will be a great leader. They have cast their vote for someone who will move Hawaii into a better tomorrow for our kupuna and for our keiki. They have cast a vote for someone who will be victorious in November. And they have cast their vote for someone who is completely real, David Ige. Thank you, every one of you here who stood with David and his family in this long journey this past year. With the odds clearly against us, and definitely the money clearly against us. This is your victory tonight. Tonight's victory will be Hawaii's victory. Yeah. Yeah.